One of the things I have always said I would never buy is a backpack. One of those little mini things that makes you look like a giant two-year-old. Did I go back on my word? Yeah, well, stay tuned and find out. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Pardon whatever my hair is doing over here. I don't know what's happening, but uh, this channel is all about high-end luxury handbags. Wait, let me start over because I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget. That's what it's about. From high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe. Click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. First, let me point out this beautiful necklace that I'm wearing. This is, if I remember correctly, the Taurus necklace from Jill Maurer, so I will link that below. I do have a discount code with with Jill. It is autumn 15 for 15% 15 off at jillmauer.com, so I will link that below. All right, I said that I would never buy a backpack, right? One of those fashionable backpacks, one of those little mini backpacks. I know a lot of people like them. I know they've been on trend for a while. I am very rarely on trend, if ever. And being a teacher, when I think of backpacks, I think of my children and their backpacks. So I don't particularly want one because I'm not 12 years old. But no shade to those adults who do like the mini backpack trend. I do think the bags themselves are cute. I just don't... What is it? Seeing them on adults, it, it just, yeah. It, it's it's the young thing, like adults shouldn't be carrying little backpacks. And again, do whatever you want, fine. Really not trying to throw shade here. This is in my own head. But it's also the functionality of them. Just never made a lot of sense to me, carrying it on your shoulder like that. A lot of people wear them on one shoulder and then the other strap is hanging. I don't know, there are just several things that I'm not crazy about with the mini backpack trend. However, all these years later since that trend started, I might have purchased one, maybe. You you will find out in this video. So here's what happened. I was looking on Dillard's because they were having a, a sale. They had 40% off several of their items that had already been marked down which is quite a deal. So I was browsing through the bags and I found this. Um, where should we start? Let's see. I found this. It's a strap. It has a little buckle on it. It's adjustable. It has one of those rings that holds the end of the strap down. Yes. Um, let's see. There's a little handle like on the top of a backpack. OMG, and I'm gonna let the strap drop and pull it up by the handle now. Dun 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 dun! dun. Look at that. So here's the thing, and I do still have the tag on because I wanted to make sure to remember the name and show you. It is not technically a backpack, but it also is a backpack, but it's not. Here's the th okay. I have to explain. So this bag is by a brand I had never heard of, Amy Kestenberg. And when I Googled her and searched on YouTube, I actually found that she has sold these bags on QVC. And Amy is actually in some of those QVC videos, maybe all of them, I don't know, talking about these. They're originally backpacks. We'll get into that in a second. So talking about her backpacks. She's from Australia, so shout out to the Aussies. What do y'all say? I don't know what you say. I'm not Australian. But shout out to all y'all chicks down under. That sounded ridiculous. I saw Amy talking in this QVC video on YouTube about these bags, and she designed them when she was in college in New York. She went to a fashion design school in New York. She designed it as a backpack. This, however, is the mini version, a little tiny mini backpack version but it's not a backpack it is a crossbody and that in addition to this is what I like so much about it I really like that it's not a backpack but it's also a backpack does that make sense like you can't wear it as a backpack you can wear it crossbody you can wear it on your shoulder but it doesn't have those two straps that makes it look like a backpack. I also thought the design with the black leather and the little stars, which are actually little metal stars, 
was really cute. Big chunky zipper and she designed the big chunky zipper for a reason. I like that it has the top handle and also on the back you can see it says Amy Kestenberg there. It has this slip pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and take this tag off because it's in the way. Let me show you this bag and then we're gonna do a little what fits because I just got it a couple days ago and I took it out of the package there wasn't any kind of real unboxing to do for it, which is why I'm just doing a reveal with you. But I'm so impressed with it that I want to share it with you in case any of you might like to get one too. She has these in so many different colors and different patterns too, and they're really inexpensive. Full price, they range from about $128 to I think the most expensive one I saw was 160 something and I got this on sale at Dillard's for like $65. She has some on her website right now or at least when I'm filming this for on sale for $98. Oh and the name of the bag too that would be helpful. It's called the Tamitha backpack and this is the Tamitha mini crossbody. So the mini crossbody is this size with the crossbody but Tamitha is the name of the whole line. It is real leather. It's very soft leather. It's supple, it's very squishy. That's one of the things that she she designed it that way, of course. I love that it has the back pocket, which is perfect to slip your cell phone in. And I don't have one of the bigger cell phones, but I think that would probably fit in there. And I like the design of the front too, that it's not a traditional backpack with that sort of U-shaped zipper. It has this big chunky silver zipper that goes right down the middle. And then check out what's on the inside. I'm not sure if she probably has different linings for each one, but I have seen several with this lining. Check this out. Oh wait, there's a dust bag in there. Hold on. You get a dust bag. Let's try that again. Check this out. It's leopard inside. OMG, super cute. And then let me show you the layout of the inside too. When you open it up, there's this little piece of fabric here that just prevents things that you have up front from falling out, which was very smart. Otherwise, it's one big open space, and then there's a pocket here that goes to the bottom of the bag, a slip pocket, so that gives you a little bit of an idea. But I just thought, what a cute design. So let's throw a few things in here. Oh, I should give you measurements first. Let's do that. And then we'll throw a few things in here. Oh, and let me spin it around. I'm, I'm too excited, I don't know. Like I've forgotten how to do YouTube videos here because I'm so excited about this bag. There is the front and then side spin. So it's wider at the bottom and then it slims up at the top there, it tapers off. The back has that pocket, of course. And then the other side, here is the base to give you an idea of how narrow the bag actually is. And then the straps just attach right at the top there and it's one shoulder or crossbody strap. That strap is not removable. I wish it was because I would love to just carry it around like this, but if you really wanted to do that, you could slip this strap, fold it up a little more neatly than I'm doing, but just slip the strap into the back pocket there. Again, make it nicer looking than I did and carry it around like this, and then you don't have to worry about the strap. You could even get a carabiner and hook it to something else. Hook it to your belt, maybe. Hook it to a larger bag. I don't know. Depending on how big your bag is, this could be a giant bag charm. Who knows? All right, this bag is eight inches tall. It is five and a half inches wide. I'd say it's about 2.75 inches deep at the deepest space in the middle here. This leather is so soft. It's really nice. And then, of course, it tapers off up here. So let's unzip it and see what we can fit in here. I'm curious. I'm gonna start with my phone in that back pocket. You know what, I should give you a couple of size comparisons here. So here's a pochette accessoire right up next, next to it and they're about the same size. Just the backpack is deeper. So maybe that'll give you an idea. Here's the YSL bill pouch. I don't know if I could even get that in there. They're about the same size. Let's try it just to see. I wouldn't carry the YSL bill pouch in here. No, I can't get it in there because of the big zipper. I wouldn't be able to get it in and, and have it fit easily without scratching the YSL piece. Let's see if I can get a full-size Sarah wallet in here. I can, but I'm gonna have to stuff it, stretch it. That That's not an easy fit. You can make it work if you have to carry that, but that takes up a whole lot of space in the bag and kind of scratch is the wallet. How about a sunglasses case? 
that I can fit in more easily, but it is still a little bit of a struggle. And I can't get it in the back pocket. It has to go in the main pocket and then it blocks the back pocket. Let's try a mini pochette. Okay, that fits and I can even get it in sideways there. So that would be a great piece to carry right there. And I could also fit my little Chanel wallet in front of that. I think I can get my YSL card holder between those two pieces. Let me show you how that looks so far. All three of those pieces, there's the YSL down there, right there. The back pocket is still empty. Honestly, I'm not sure what to put back there. I'm looking around because I feel like I want something that's taller, but what I'm finding when I put the wallet and the sunglasses case in is if I put something taller in, it's really difficult to get it into that back pocket because the opening at the top here is narrow since the bag doesn't open up completely it's kind of difficult to access that so i may want to put something smaller in there i might want to keep a card holder back there instead or i'm going to change my mind maybe i'd want to put something like reading glasses a lip gloss a pen I could probably get a small notebook back there there are the items in that back pocket and that's definitely not full i could fit more in there. I have a key pouch. I'm going to take those reading glasses out because I don't want to scratch them. Okay, now I have the key pouch in the back with the pen and the lip gloss and the mini pochette, the card holder, and the little mini wallet. Those all fit very comfortably. And then as you see, there's still room up here if I wanted to put something in. I might be able to squeeze, squeeze a scarf in there if I really had to, a thinner scarf. And one of the great things about the design of this bag is this zipper is very smooth and because it's chunky and smooth, you can just zip it right up without having to like, hold on to the bag and get a grip of it to get the zipper going. You just, if it's hanging from you, just lift the zipper pull and it zips right up. So here it is with all the stuff that I had in it. And again, I could fit more. It's really, if I squish it down here, I don't have a whole lot up in this space. I could fit more there. This space is pretty full, the bottom there. And that's how it looks. It doesn't look like it's full. It still looks like it's slouchy. I think that's part of this design on it. And it's just a really cute little bag. Let me do a quick mod shot to show you what it looks like. So I'm 5'3". This is on the shortest length. It just hangs right here from me. I'll put it on the longest length and do the crossbody. Here is crossbody that hangs in about the same place and it's pretty comfortable crossbody there. I like it, it looks good. And again, if the zipper is down, you just lift it up, it's so easy. Buttery smooth zipper. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my backpack that's not a backpack. And I rather love it and recommend it. Now you can't carry much in this like we just saw. It's not gonna fit a whole lot, but it would definitely fit your essentials for a night out, and there are so many different color options, like I said. So if you think this is cute, I do recommend going to check this brand out, Amy Kestenberg. I will have it written out below so you know how to spell it, and I'll also list a few of the places where you can find her bags. And again, if this is too small for you, she does have larger backpacks. I think there are three different sizes of them, and this is the fourth size that's not really a backpack. Well, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I have been exploring lots of different brands besides luxury brands that are still quite nice and have caught my attention lately. So I hope you're enjoying that too. Let me know in the comment section if you are or if you wish that I would just stick to Louis Vuitton and Chanel and Hermes for heaven's sake. Personally, I do think this is quite luxurious as are many of the other items that I've ordered recently. Well, I hope that you and your family and friends are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.